there is a protein deposit in the brain called amyloid. And that protein is required to develop Alzheimer's disease. After amyloid deposition in the brain, there's another protein that shows up called tau protein. And after the two of those show up, there's an inflammatory response in the brain. We're taking a person's blood, take it out of them a little bit at a time, spinning it down, putting the red cells, white cells, and platelets back into them, but instead of sending their own plasma, which is the liquid back in, we take donor plasma that's been sterilized and use that to put it back in the person. Amyloid in the brain would start mobilizing into the blood, and then we would bring them in again and remove the blood amyloid again. And by doing that sequentially, we hope to actually literally suck the amyloid out of the brain, if you will. Tau protein also crosses the blood-brain barrier into the blood. So perhaps if we throw away the, the aberrant tau protein, we will actually reduce those levels in the brain as well. And then finally, the whole uh, reason that plasma exchange was invented was as an anti-inflammatory. So our hypothesis and our hope is that by doing the plasma exchanges, we may actually reduce amyloid, tau, and inflammation in the brain. And by taking a triple-pronged approach to it, we may be more successful than we or anybody has been by taking a single approach to it.